Thunkable App Making Tutorial for Beginners Build Your Own Mobile App Without Code Hey guys, welcome to Thunkable Tutorial in which I will be showing you how you can create a mobile app without coding. So if you're completely new to app making, if you don't know how to do coding, if you find it very difficult, then I think this tutorial is going to be very helpful for you. So in order to get started, what you have to do is you have to go to thunkable.com and you will land on this website right here which is a pretty basic website so getting started is also really easy because you can sign up using your google account or your email address for free so after the initial sign up you will get to your main thunkable dashboard and this is what the dashboard looks like so what we're going to be doing is i will actually take you to the main dashboard here so this is the dashboard and you can see we have my workspace so under workspace you will find different workspaces that you have created now using thunkable is really easy it's just like any other project management software or a developer software so then we have the projects where i will be able to see any project that i am creating then we have sample projects we have public gallery from where i can get a lot of different things we have saved screens modules and we have logic modules as well so in order to get started let me actually take you to the sample projects here now with sample projects what we can see is we can take a look at some of the projects before we begin and it will show me some of the apps that have been created uh through Thunkable or I will be able to see like oh wow like you can see this is how it looks like a pretty basic very nice app or a website that has been created and what I can do is now I can actually preview on device I can see the insights of this app or I can copy this project you know completely to my profile so that I can like create a, a very similar project so what I can do is I can now kind of like check out some others as well so for example it also depends on your niche that what kind of a you know app that you want to create then we also have the public gallery where i will be able to see multiple screen tasks we can see some of the uh you know projects we can see pictures we can see some uh, collections of different projects from different creators we're going to go to my projects here and we're going to click on create new project so we're going to give our project a name and my project is just going to be called test that's all then we have the category now this is where i need to enter the category of my app or my project so for that what we're going to do is for me i'm actually creating a educational uh you know apps i'm just going to go with educational we can actually add more than one if we want to so we will also go with lifestyle and it also revolves around social networking perfect so once i have selected the category then we can select privacy if it's going to be private or public so what we're going to do is we're going to select public for now and i'm going to click on create so once i click on create now it will take me to my design section within thunkable and it's a very simple uh you know drag and drop design so all you have to do is just drag and drop and you'll be able to create an app without coding um so what we're going to be doing is you can see we have design we have data we have assets cloud variables and settings so the first thing that we will do we will take a look at the design so for the design what i can do is i can drag and drop any kind of thing from here so for example we have the buttons we have the labels we have the data the media the embed and more so the first thing that i've added i have added uh, like a text so what we can do is we can add like maybe the name so let's just call it free add so for example i wanted to add this name so i can do it here and now i can of course customize it completely according to my taste i can make it bold i can make it you know better i can change the color whatever i want to do similarly we can add a button here so all i have to do is just like drag and drop and it will be added here so then i'm gonna go ahead and maybe add an image so it's a simple drag and drop for now i'm just doing it here dragging and dropping i'll actually show you a separate project that i've created we can also go to the block section here to first kind of like select the blocks of the screen if you want to have different blocks of course and then we can have different a course to it or different app features so when it comes to the app features you can add features like speech sound share camera file sign in location push notifications alerts timers and more so if i want to go with the sign in it will look something like this so this is 
where I don't even need to do coding. What we need to do is you can already see the, the process here. So when a person selects their email and then their password, then it will be set and they, they just have to reset. And then we have even get a profile from Google or get a profile from Apple. This, uh, you know, option is available as well. If I gonna want to go with the share option, you can see right here, it's already created for me. If I have camera, it will allow me to, to add files or open the camera. So this is actually pretty good. And I think as a person who would not know coding, you can create an app very easily. And Plankable is like, one of the you know very innovative uh softwares out there so if i switch to design again now what i can do is i can switch to data and this time i can feed some data into my app whatever data what whatever kind of information that i wanted to add to my specific you know app that i can do that here then we have the assets now this is where i will add the media files and the figma files as well all you have to do is a simple drag and drop you can choose a file from your computer that you have already created and for the um, import from figma you can also like just hit plus and you can do that and then we have the cloud uh, variables this is where i can connect or set up a firebase account and provide the database url or an api key in the settings panel and then we have the basic settings here where i can select the name of the app so for example the name is like free and okay i can upload an icon so this is the basic settings of the app that we will be doing here so i can scroll down to see that we have the you know public app we have the optimized phone option and then of course here we can also see the publishing details so if you want to go with the uh, you know ios version if you want to go with the android version you can scroll down to even add your api key so of course when you will be creating an app you will add all of the details here you can scroll down to check everything here you have the image recognizer settings we have the um, for each and every one, maybe like Google Map settings, you have the Firebase settings. So it's just like creating a real authentic app with a lot of different features uh, and without coding. So that's actually really good. So if you just know how to kind of like create a website or here after watching this tutorial, you'll know that you just have to kind of like just get the API key, just get the database URL for your iOS or Android, whatever uh, you're doing. You just simply, you know, copy and paste here and you get all the information. now. Um, once you have created a design, let me show you what it will look like. So it will look something like this. If I show you preview on the device. Okay, I can actually check out this, uh, you know, app through uh, like downloaded this on my different apps. Or we can just like, for example, this one, you can see check reviews. And if we click here, take a look at this, that this is a sign up, uh, you know, that has been created with our thunkable so if, even if i want to create something like this like a sign up page i can do that and i can just copy project and it will open it up for me where i can do some of these settings and you can see it will get it for me there you go so now all i have to do is maybe like change the name of the you know uh, website change the logo change the design a bit change the color and then it will do the rest for me and i will have like a sign up page so this way you can even like create with different templates that are available on Thunkable. So that's why I think Thunkable is one of the, you know, most innovative and uh, helpful applications out there, software out there that you should definitely check out if you want to create a website, but without coding. Uh, so you can see these are the basic options that you get within your, you know, editor. So I'm going to take you back to the dashboard. So this is our main dashboard again here in customization we will have the saved screens modules and logic modules that you can also check out and they will be shown right here once you add them so yeah guys this is how you will create an app with thunkable you can go ahead and check it out right now if you don't know coding but you are thinking of creating an app i hope this video was a big help to you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe to the youtube channel